Hello and welcome to Circle Time. Sue, our friends are here. Do you want to help me welcome them? Good morning, good morning. How are you? Good morning, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Hope you are too. I'm fine, I'm fine. Hope you are too. Well, Sue, today we are going on a treasure hunt and X marks the spot. It's going to be so much fun. In fact, there's something on Fred's shelf. Let's take a look and see what's on Fred's shelf. Hi, Fred. Fred is behind his fish school. You can see him right there. Let's put some fish food in Fred's tank first. Hi, Fred. There's something on your shelf. It looks like a box. Let's see what's inside. There's nothing inside. It's empty. But maybe we can find some treasures to put into the box. Maybe we'll find some gold coins. Well, it is time for us to turn around and do our calendar time. The month is February. Can you say February? February. Let's reach into our can and see how we will count today. It says we're going to count like a robot today. Can you help me count like a robot? Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> today is February 3rd. Can you say that like a robot? What's today's date? February 3rd. <laughs> and if you go up to the top, you can see that the day of the week starts with the letter F. Letter F says f, 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 like a firefly. So what day is it today? F, 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 Friday. Today is Friday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, it is time to check the weather, so look outside your window and see what the weather is like for you today. Did you check? Is your weather sunny or rainy or cloudy or snowy? When I do like this with my microphone, shout out your weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is it is it is day it is it is it is out today well let's dress weather bear okay weather bear i think we're going to put on some let's see first a shirt for you and then we'll put on a little snowsuit and how about a coat with a scarf and pockets for your hands and a hat so your ears won't get cold there and what is the season the season is winter it's winter well that was our calendar time and now it's time for letter of the day. Today's letter is X. Can you say X? X. If your name has letter X, stand up. If your name has letter X, stand up. If your name has letter X, if your name has letter X, if your name has letter X, stand up. Well, today X is for X marks the spot. 
usually on a treasure map and X is at the end where the treasure should be. So I decorated my X with a red crayon. Usually X marks the spot and often it's the color red. So if you want to, you can color your X red. X marks the spot. Well, now that we can recognize this letter, it's letter what? X. Practice writing it and I'll show you how. To make a letter X, you're just going to slide down. You're going to go back up to the top and over, and you're going to slide the other way. I like to say criss-cross when I'm practicing my letter X. Do you want to try? Let's practice. Slide to the bottom. Go back up and move over. Slide the other way. Criss, cross. Criss, cross. Criss, cross. That's how you make a big letter X. Can I see your letter X? I want to cheer for you. Wow. Thing. You get a gold coin for the treasure box. Okay, now let's write little letter X. To make a little letter X, you do the same thing, only smaller. So we're going to slide down, go back up and over, and slide the other way. That is the little letter X. Let's practice. Slide this way, go back up and over, slide the other way. If you're using handwriting paper, then little x belongs downstairs. So find the stairs, and that's the line where you put little x. Criss, cross, criss, cross. Okay, I want to check and cheer for you. Can I see your little letter x? And remember, if you don't have paper, just sky write. Criss, cross, yay! Very good job. You get another treasure for the treasure box, a golden coin. Well, now we know what letter X looks like. We know how to write letter X, so it is time to talk about the sound that letter X makes. Letter X makes this sound. X, X. Can you try to make that sound? Very good. Letter X makes the sound X, X, like my water squirter when I'm watering my plants. X, X, X. <laughs> Can you pretend that you have a water squirter? X, X, X. Letter X makes the sound X, X, X. Very, very good job. Well, it is time for us to go on a treasure hunt. Today, we're going to be doing some math, some map skills. We're going to be learning directions. Take a look at this map I found. Oh, wow. We're going to start right here, right at the ship. Let's all get on the pirate ship. Are you ready to get on the ship with me? Okay, here we go. Whoa, we're on a pirate ship. This is pretty cool. And we have a treasure map. So let's look back at the map and see which way we need to go. It is a compass. A compass will tell us direction. If you see an N at the top here, that means go up. That is north. The S at the bottom means go down. That direction is south. W to the left means west. And the E to the right means east. North, south, east, and west. So first, we're going to go this way, to the left. Do you remember what direction left is? Left is west. Oh no, I see a sea dragon in the water. 
there's a sea dragon out there. I think we need to duck. Sea dragons blow out fire. So can you duck? Duck, everyone. There's a sea dragon. That was close. Let's look back at the map and see which way to go. So we went west, and now we're going to go up. What direction is up? Up is north. Look, I see dolphins in the water. Let's stop and look at the dolphins. Look, they're jumping. Oh, look at the dolphins. Let's look on this side. Look, more dolphins jumping in the water. That's so nice. Well, it's time for us to keep going, so let's take a look at the map and see where we need to go next. First, we went west and then north. Now we're going to go to the right. What direction is right? That's east. Do 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 I see sharks in the water. I think we better get through this water pretty fast. Let's steer this ship a little bit faster. Whoa, through the shark infested waters. Let's go, let's go, ship. Shoo, that was close. We're through the sharky water, so let's look back at the map and see where we'll go next. First, we went west, then north, then east, and now we're going to go up. What direction is up? North. Oh no, I see Skull Mountain. I think we're going past Skull Mountain. Can you show me a scared face? We're passing. Skull Mountain, oh, that's scary, oh, scared face. <sighs> Shoo, we're past Skull Mountain, so let's look back at the map and see where we will go next. We went west and north and east and north, and now we will go to the left. Do you know what direction that is? To the left is West. I see mermaids swimming in the water. <gasps> Let's stop and say hello to the mermaids. Hello, mermaids. Oh, look, the mermaids are swimming in the water. Hi, mermaids. Okay, that was fun. Now let's look back at the map and see where we will go next. First, we went west, then north, then east, north west and now we will go up again what direction is up north and i see a sunken ship do you think we should dive down into the water swim to the bottom and see if that sunken ship had treasure on board okay let's do it let's dive <sighs> splash and swim 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 in the water in the water and let's see if we can find treasure. Look around, look around. Oh, look, we found treasure. We'll take that back and put it in our treasure box. All right, let's look at our map and see which way to go next. We went west, we went north, east, north, west, north, and now we're going to go back this way to the right. What direction is right? East. And there are more dolphins in the water. Oh, how beautiful. Let's stop and watch the dolphins jump. Let's jump. Let's look this way. Oh, more dolphins jumping in the water. Okay, let's look at the map and see which way to go next. So let's review. We went west and north and east and north west north east and now it's time to go to the left what direction is left to the left is west and look to the west there is an x x marks the spot we found treasure Let's dig, 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 dig. 
Oh, look at what treasure we found. <gasps> Lots of golden coins. Let's take these back to the classroom and put them in the treasure box. That was fun. Thanks for going on a treasure hunt with me. Well, here we are, and they're the gold coins we found when we dug up the buried treasure. We'll put those in our box. Well, it's time for us to go over to art. We are going to make an old treasure map. So come on, everyone. We're going to the art table. So here we are at the art table, and we're going to make a really old treasure map. So what we're going to do first is we're going to draw the map and then we're going to use coffee or tea to make it look really old. So first let's draw it. So I'm just going to take my red marker first and I'm going to put an X here. This will be where the treasure is. Now if you want this to be a map that you can use today around your home, you can think about places around your house that you might want to go and look for treasure. So I might go this way and I might look in the bathroom and see if I can find treasure. And then I might go into the kitchen where the stove is and I might look there. And then I might go to the table where we eat. I might look around to see if I can find some treasure there. Then I might go to my bedroom. There's my bed. Maybe there's treasure hiding there. And then I might go to the living room. So we'll just make a very simple couch. Maybe I'll look in the living room for some treasure. And then I might go this way to where I have my toy box, my toys inside, like my ball and my doll or my blocks. I might check there. And then I might, let's come over here and let's start right at the door. Maybe I'll start right where the door is. Okay, so see, I can travel all around my home and actually use this treasure map today. And I can hide something at the end. And that can be where the treasure is. So the next thing I'm going to do after I have this drawn is I'm going to carefully tear. And you can do this part first if you want to. I'm just tearing the edges. So before you draw, if you need to tear, that's fine. When I tear the edges, it's just going to make the paper look super old. Like it's really worn out. So I'm just tearing, tearing, tearing the edges of the paper. Okay. All right, so next I'm going to crumple up the paper. I want it to look like it's really old and worn. So now I'm going to uncrumple the paper. Ooh, it's starting to look old. The last thing we're going to do is paint it. We're going to use either a tea bag or some coffee and a little bit of water. So I'll show you both. So if you use the tea bag, you can just squeeze it out a little bit and then just rub it on the paper. And you can see it makes it have like a light brown look. Okay, or you can use coffee grounds and a little bit of water and you can paint your paper like this. Don't worry if coffee grounds get on your paper because once it's dry, those will fall and brush right away. You can brush them right off into the trash can. So, or you can even take a little cloth and go ahead and brush those off now. So there you have it. We made, and it's going to look even cooler.
cooler and older once it's dry. But we made an old-fashioned treasure map. I'm coming back around to our classroom now, and we are going to read a story together. It's story time, and our story today is called Max and Ruby's Treasure Hunt by Rosemary Wells. Let's have a tea party, said Max's sister Ruby. Good idea, said Ruby's best friend Louise. There was not a cloud in the sky, but suddenly... Crash, bang, went the thunderstorm. Just when Ruby was pouring a cup of tea for Louise's little sister, Lily. Lily grabbed her doll, Dagmar, and everybody ran into the house as fast as they could. Rain, rain, go away, said Ruby. Come again another day, said Louise. Everybody wants to play, chimed in Max. Grandma heard every word. Let's have a treasure hunt, said Grandma. How does it work? asked Louise. There are seven clues hidden in seven places in the house, said Grandma. Follow the clues one after another and you will find the treasure. Where do we begin? asked Ruby. Let me see, said Grandma. Let's start with cock-a-doodle-doo. My dame has lost her. Hmm, oh dear, something or other. Who can think of what she lost? rhymes with cock-a-doodle-doo, asked Ruby. My dame has lost her shoe, said Louise. Look, shouted Lily. There was Max's shoe under the chair, and sure enough, inside the shoe was the first clue. Ruby read it out loud. It said, look for something that you can see, something for making tea. I know, said Louise. She looked in the dining room cupboard. She took out the teapot. Inside the teapot was the second clue. Louise read it. Hmm. Jack jumped over the... What could it be? Oh, everyone guessed they remembered the rhyme. Jack jumped over the candlestick. Lily got it right. The third clue was in the hall under one of the candlesticks. Lily found it. She could not read yet, so Louise read the next clue. It said, the cow jumps over the... Hmm, they thought about the rhyme. This time Max guessed it. The cow jumped over the moon. What rhymes with moon? Max ran to the kitchen. He opened the drawer. Spoon, he said. Max was the first one to pull out a spoon and the next clue. Hooray! Max couldn't read yet, so Ruby read the next clue. This one said, What could Miss Mary Mac have down her back? Hmm, everyone had an idea, but Lily knew the rhyme by heart. She led the way up the stairs to the closet. On the shelf was Grandma's sewing box. Silver buttons, said Louise. In the sewing box was another clue. What could it be? asked Louise. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. How about a car horn? said Ruby. Garage, said Max. They were right. On the steering wheel of Grandma's red car was the next clue. Ruby pushed the button and put the top down. The clue said, hickory dickory dock. What rhymes with dock? They all thought, lock, sock, rock, lock, smock, flock, clock, said Max. But there was nothing under the alarm clock in the bedroom. There was nothing under the clock radio in the guest room. Suddenly, they heard it, bong, bong, bong. It was the grandfather clock in the living room. Downstairs, they all went. Ruby opened the door of the big grandfather clock, and inside was the last clue. It said, look for Grandma. Max bolted for the screened porch. He opened the door. Under Grandma's chair was the treasure box. Max was the first to open it. Inside were five gold coins filled with chocolate. 
They are too beautiful to eat, said Ruby. But there are only four of us and five coins, said Louise. One for Dagmar, said Grandma. Dagmar, shouted Lily. Where's my doll Dagmar? Did you leave her in one of the clue locations, said Grandma. Maybe, but which one, said Ruby. Dining room? Hall? Pantry? Closet? Garage? Bedroom? Living room? There were clues in different locations. No one could remember where Dagmar might have been lost. But Max had an idea. In the parlor, right where Lily left her, they found Dagmar. Hooray! They found Dagmar and they found the treasure. The end. Well, we found some treasure today, too. Let's look in our box and see the gold coins that we found today. Wow. Thank you for going on a treasure hunt with me. X marked the spot. Well, Sue, come out and say goodbye to our friends. Sue, we won't see our friends tomorrow. That's Saturday. We might see them on Sunday because we'll do Sunday school online if you want to check us out on Sunday. And then we'll have circle time again on Monday. We hope you have a great weekend. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Mwah! Goodbye. See you next time.